Before I dive into episode nine, I have to say this was single-handedly the most heartbreaking episode by far this season. So we finally get to the trial, which decides Danny Sullivan's fate once and for all. And we can literally feel the tension in the air in this episode. And this episode did a great job of answering unknown questions when it came to Danny's mother, Candy. We visibly see that her disgust for Marlon continues to grow throughout this whole process and throughout the whole trial. And it really hits her that her son is in big trouble when she goes through newspaper articles which shows Danny's mugshot and we can see her completely break down in tears. And you can tell that Candy feels some type of guilt in somewhat way she feels responsible for Danny's situation. As the child continues to pick up, we see Danny's situation do nothing but get worse because DA Patricia Richards holds no punches and she's pleading her case to the jury that Danny is a madman and needs to be locked up for the rest of his life. The problem is that Danny's disorder doesn't currently exist in this point in time. And that's the reason why his lawyers are basically getting circles running around him because it sounds as if they're just spouting out lies that Danny has voices in his head. And it's kind of swaying the jury away from them. And it's irritating to see because us, the audience, who's been following Danny and his whole team throughout this whole process, know that Danny actually is seeing people and talking to people in his head. So it's irritating to see. The thing is that MPD only exists in a person when they have been through something traumatically, such as sexual assault. And that's exactly what Marlon did to Danny. And the only person that can confirm that to the jury is Danny, but he has already stated in his mind that him, he hasn't been abused, it's been his brother Adam. So that's out the window. So the second person that he can go to is Candy, Danny's mother, but she refused to testify even though she's been called to the stand, even though that's against the law. And it's sickening to see that because she's basically turning her back on Danny like it was nothing. To make matters worse, Marlon gets called to the stand to testify against Danny. We see him paint the picture that he's this loving stepfather that does nothing but care for Danny despite his troubles that he's caused him. And despite him even getting shot at in this incident, and that completely is disgusting to see because we all know Marlon is the key reason why Danny has MPD in the first place. Well, like I stated previously, the best option for Danny at this moment is for his mother to come forth and help him in some sort of way. So Ryan takes one more shot at the situation and basically talks to her like, Danny needs you at this time. Hey, I know you're scared. I know you're going through everything. This is a crazy time for you. But if you don't step up for Danny in this moment, he's going to go to jail for the rest of his life. And he cannot handle that at all. He's not built for that life. After him, what Ryan says to her, we see Candy work up some type of strength to basically leave Marlon. She is in her mind ready to leave him and ready to air out all the laundry that he has caused her son and all the pain and harm that he's done over the years. But on her way to the courtroom, what happens? Marlon intercepts her and puts in a notion in her mind, hey, just because I get blamed for something, just because one parent is in the wrong doesn't mean the other parent gets to walk scot-free. You just as wrong as me. One person, does, one parent does something, we both did something. So if I get in trouble, you get in trouble, and our lives are basically over. And that scares the hell out of her. So what does she do? She gets on the stand and tells everybody that Marlon never did anything to Danny at all. And she gets up with a straight face without looking at Danny at all and walks away. And we can completely see that this shattered his heart because this is the only person in the world that he trusted. Tom Holland did a great job conveying what that did to Danny. It was basically all facial expressions. He had little to no lines in this episode. Like I said, this broke Danny's heart. So at the end of episode nine, in the final two, three minutes of this episode, we see him basically go through a whole mental breakdown. He ends up slitting his wrists and lays down in his jail bed. We don't know Danny's fate. We just have to wait till this Friday for the finale, episode 10, to figure out did he die? What happened? I'm pretty sure he didn't die because this story has a lot more to tell. And that's just honestly, I had to say, this was a very heartbreaking episode. I had to take some time to get away from this. I kept rewatching it to make sure I, I seen what I actually seen. And it was actually very sickening and just heartbreaking to see. Episode 9 of Crowd Room is now streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you checked it out right now.